one. All right, good day, everybody. Welcome to Podcast Host Army. We've got five minutes on the clock. What is your name and what is your podcast show? My name is Eric Jennings. My podcast is called The World XP Podcast. The World XP Podcast. What does XP stand for? Experience. We uh, we were searching in the beginning. We were searching for a way to kind of explore lots of stories around the world and experiences from around the world. And we figured the word experience was too cumbersome. Uh, both the, the guy that I started with and I were are video gamers. And so XP is a thing in video games. And we we're like, well, there you go. Yeah. In a video game, you get life experience, you go do something, do a mission, and you level up when it turns, you know, when your XP hits, you know, 100, you level up to the next character Correct. or whatever, right? So in your podcasting journey, talk to us about some of the things that have helped level you up. And when we were in the green room, you were talking about, yeah, it's kind of like a free education, Josh. So what did that look like for you? Yeah, 100%. I think uh, for me, in, in, in the first place is just the the wide breadth of guests that I've had on that I've had on the show from video game designers to uh, military people to soccer players and coaches. I'm a soccer player, so I have a lot of connections in, in that area. Um, musicians, anyone and everyone, professors, anyone and everyone. And so it it's really given me a, a broad perspective on the people that are out there and how they think about things and, and things to consider in my own life and kind of taking from, oh, I like what this person said, but I didn't really like what this other thing that they said and like taking the things that I like and don't like and modeling um, and adapting some of those for myself and, and helping me, I guess, level up uh, in my own life. Yeah, I think it's really cool because you started, you know, podcasting and then, you know, you've got your YouTube channel and you've had some pieces of content that did really well. You know, you were just sharing an experience that maybe you could share here. One did really well and the other didn't. What have you learned? Kind of give us the overview of what that looked like and what, what have you learned when it comes to content creation? I would say the biggest thing is you have to like what you're creating. If you're doing it for the views or for the the fame or notoriety, it's, it's not going to last because like you mentioned, it can get discouraging to have one. I had one um, short on YouTube hit about 12,000 views and like people were in the comments saying some wild things and that's all right. Uh, and then the next day from the same podcast, another clip around the same time posted at the same time of day, just the next day. Uh, had like 50 views or whatever and it's like there's no rhyme or reason and so if you get if you get caught up in the numbers themselves um, it's very easy to get discouraged and frustrated it's like this one did well why did that one not do well and if you just have to not worry about it at least that's what I've learned because otherwise I would have been uh, <laughs> very discouraged for sure yeah you gotta like what you're creating and if you're producing just for the numbers uh, you you threw a warning out there like you're like don't do that right? Like, yeah. why? Uh, there's a lot of people that I, I talk with on a regular basis. They're like, I need to get my numbers up. I need to do this. And, and they're numbers, numbers, numbers. What is your warning for that? Again, just like you mentioned, is you have to have a passion for what you're doing. I love talking to people. I love learning new things. Uh, I love soccer. So I've got a soccer kind of offshoot as, as well. And the content that I make, I really like making it. And that's really what it is because the algorithm is not really your friend. It can be your friend, but also it's not really your friend. And so, um, of course, if you get big enough, you're Mr. Beast, whatever, then then it becomes your friend. But it, when you're starting out, it's not your friend. And you'll have stuff that you'll have, you'll ask people to go look at it and you'll look at the video three days later and they'll have like four views and you're like, but well, why? But if you like making it, then it's fine. And the and the number doesn't matter so much at the end of the day, as long as you had, as long as you liked making what the content that you made. Yeah. Like, you're like, I know for sure that I sent this to at least 20 people and I yeah. only have four views on this. Yeah. Some of my friends aren't real friends and I'm getting rid of them, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. Now you talk about like a, a free education of going through just things that you've been curious because you've interviewed all sorts of people. As you look back, right, you've got you've got your own focuses of how you make money and then you've, you're a soccer coach and, you know, and you're, uh, you know, you're doing really good over there. As you round out for people who want to level up their own stuff and maybe check out the variety of things that you've created, what's a good place for them to connect with you and maybe check out some of the work that you've done? Yeah, for sure. If you want to connect with me, uh, World XP Podcast on Instagram uh, and the YouTube channel is the same, World XP Podcast. And then if you're more interested in the soccer specific stuff, it's World XP Soccer, uh, both on Instagram and, and YouTube as well. And the Instagram channels, if you want to reach out directly, are probably the, the best ways, but all the content is on the YouTube channels as well. 
Cool. Well, Eric, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, fellow podcasters, content creators, thanks for joining in with this five-minute format. If you have something that you'd like to chat about, podcasthostarmy.com is a good place to get started. Talk to you all on the next one. Bye, guys.